So I guess we better get used to this kind of uh, kind of position for me in, in videos coming up here. I've got a lot of projects to work on. I got a little sidetracked here, started messing with the 1M trunk. Uh, I'm gonna put the stock one back on. The problem is, is the third brake light is glued in place. So I just, uh, I'm gonna buy a new brake light. I think it's like 80 bucks or something like that. So rather than ruining this one, uh, I think I'm going to uh, just get a new one. And uh, I gotta get a new latch anyway, this latch thing here had to be kind of bent in order to fit into the new trunk. So I'll, I'll just get a new one of one of those and then retrofit all the, all the parts. There's really only a few parts this here, uh, the cable and then, you know, some of this stuff and the, the, whatever the little fabric protector thing uh, all goes back into place on the, on the stock trunk. But that's not the goal here today. Uh, the goal here today is to get uh, some of the interior parts done. I wanna remove the clutch spring, or at least see if it hasn't already been removed in the M3. Uh, do the M Performance steering wheel in the M3. I got an Alcantara shift boot, so we'll see if that can work. An Alcantara e-brake boot. Uh, so we're gonna play with the M3 a little bit here today. But uh, project mode is, I guess, gonna be uh, quite, quite the uh, undertaking here between this car and that car and detailing this car. So there's a lot of, a lot of stuff I've got coming on and I got a lot of things to do to the uh, GT3 as well. Obsessed so garage license plate looks good on there. So here's the plan today. Uh, I've got IND, really expensive. Don't look the price up on this. You'll think a lot less of me. Uh, Alcantara shifter, but I'm not gonna use this shifter, right? So I think I'm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna end up cutting this off so that I could retain my F10 M5 shift knob. I've got the, again, really expensive Alcantara, you know, handmade e-brake boot. And then got M Performance steering wheel. We have to remove the other steering wheel and put this on. Uh, you know, one of the things I may do, you know, my steering wheel is actually a little bit off. The, the alignment's a little off, so they didn't, you know, they didn't line up the steering wheel when they, you know, when they adjusted the, uh, the, the alignment. So I'm gonna be redoing the suspension anyway, and I'm gonna be looking at DIY alignment kits. I don't know, we'll, we'll see when we get into it to see if I, cause the steering wheel is off, like yay amount, it needs to be like so. I've got a pro clip cell phone mount. I'm not sure about this. Uh, I have to run a bunch of wires and stuff, so maybe we'll do that. And I'm also gonna remove the clutch spring today. So that, that's the plan. All right, so here's what we're working with to start. So we got the stock steering wheel and I just straightened it out, but notice the wheel here is turned out this way to the left a little bit. F10, M5 shift knob and stock shift boot. And then the uh, stock, whatever you call it, boot. I've always wanted these. I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not, but I figured, you know, this is building my ultimate M3 that I plan on keeping for a while. So we'll see how it goes. And then the standard, standard steering wheel. So we'll be going to flat bottom and then Alcantara, but the width is the same. But the interior is coming together nicely. Now the camera's making it look kind of weird here. The fabric is not all splotchy like that. I don't know why it looks like that in camera, but it, it's actually really clean, so the interior is really nice. Let's work on the shift boot first. So I think this can just pop off. You know what's funny? I was talking to uh, Ronald from Auto Solutions about a short shifter. What amount of shortening did I want? What was the height of the knob? And then I get in the car because we were having a you know an hour long conversation, and I start shifting it. I'm like, you know, this. Come to think of it, it's been a while since I've been in it in E92, but this feels way better than what I remember. I just didn't even think of it. I just knew what I knew that I was gonna get an aftermarket uh, short shifter. The reason why it wasn't bothering me is because this thing already has an auto solution short shifter on it from the pre previous guy. And I should have known since it had the F10 uh, shift knob on it. So there goes that. So now the trick is going to be, I still want this shift knob or so I think. Let's stick the Alcantara one on here and see what it feels like. 
So I built this darn garage. It's a mile down the road from my house. And uh, I've got so much crap in it with all these darn pressure washers. So I'm working out here in the wash bay again. Okay, just a simple zip tie like normal. So there's a little bit of weight to this shift knob. This short shifter is really nice on this thing. It's extremely mechanical. This is definitely the way to go. I know you're just gonna look it up anyway, but the combination of these two is 830 bucks. So don't hold it against me. Yeah, that's a stinger. That's a lot of, a lot of cost. And I've been eyeballing these for probably 10 years now. Let's try it. Let's just, before I cut it, because I can't put it back on once I cut it. So let's just see what it feels like. That's a whole lot taller. It does feel pretty decent. Maybe I should roll this for a while. Just see what it feels like. I know many of you are gonna say that all oh, the leather looks better. I don't, I don't know, but I've never had it, so we'll see. I think, I think Alcantara is gonna look cool with the Alcantara uh, steering wheel. Let's get it on straight this time. I don't know why I've been dreading this, thinking this was gonna be some big long project, but let's see. You know, we lose some of the weight that you have from this. I kind of like the Alcantara. I'm gonna leave this on there for a little while and see how it goes. Well, that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Let's hope the steering wheel is the same. Let's hope that the e-brake is the same. I think we just pull this off. <sighs> yeah, zip tied on here, simple change. Let's trim this off. Make sure I take note of how this is on. So pull this off. Okay, cool. I think I'm a little unsure of it, you know, mixing all these materials. Kind of stinks a little bit when you buy these older cars that they don't support them quite as much as they once did back in the day. I'm not really even going to need much of a zip tie on this. It's going to just pull right on here. The zip tie's just going to hold it in position. Who would have ever thought you'd have a Matty Mormon vehicle with zip ties on it. Adam LZ would, would love this. Okay, so there's the zip tie on there. Let's trim that really tightly. Make sure that's not in the way. And this should come up like so. It should look nice and tight. Looks good. That pops into place. Looks pretty legit. It's gonna look even more legit when I get the steering wheel done. I kind of like actually that this sits up a little bit higher. I do like a leather shift knob. I have to make sure I wash my hands from the gym. But I like the height, this looks better than this. The F10 knob was sitting down a good 12 millimeters lower. I think that looks more appropriate. All right, let's disconnect the battery. I'm assuming it's 10 millimeter. All we do need to do is take the negative off because we'll be messing with the airbag. What I'll do is put the little tool kit cover in between here just so it doesn't slip back on there. And just pulled the negative terminal off right here. So this is the part I'm not a super huge fan of. I, mean, I can see it from the M Performance wheel, but we have to punch a hole in the side of the steering wheel to get the airbag off. Let's make sure, yeah, we got no power. I want the airbag going off in my face. So we have to find this little divot. I went and looked at a couple of videos online. I think it's as simple as we just poke a hole in to release the airbag. I don't know if I poked it in the right spot. I think I need a smaller screwdriver. There we go. There's number one. Can't seem to get it in the right spot. And there's a little pin that you have to push on, but I can't seem to find the pin. I'm going way past it. So I didn't I didn't notice there's on there's actually a little cutout there already. So I made a hole and I shouldn't have. Now I'm making it ten times worse. Dang it! It's gotta be it. 
about to get the freaking hacksaw out. I can feel I'm pushing on it. <clears throat> Put that side back in. See if I can get this one out. That's what it was. Gonna get these little plugs out of here. Aha. There we go. So that's what we got. Yeah, there was already a slit there. And I messed it up. So let me get a 16 millimeter, I think is what that is. 15, 16. I'm assuming this black one needs to come out as well. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I didn't mess it up too badly. Just a little bit. Kind of tweaked that a little bit there. So here's our steering wheel. While we're at it, our Alcantara. Here's our two wheels, the differences. So these are just a little uh, T, T25. I wish I would have noticed that there was a little slit in there and I wouldn't have punched the hole in the wrong spot like I did. That's all right. This steering wheel is very unlikely to go back on ever again anyway. new wheel should just snap neatly in place I don't want to tighten this too tightly because it is plastic okay there's our new wheel this is where it's gonna get tricky because there's teeth on here I think I'm just gonna have to fix the alignment To be careful with that. I shouldn't have straightened the wheel out for the pictures. Because now I can't turn it. <laughs> Straighten the wheel out. I guess I can. I just pushed the car back and forth a few times. I get it straight. And that shows how off the steering wheel is. So I guess theoretically, I could just put it on off center I think, and straighten it out. I don't know if that works though. I don't think it does because there's a flat spot. Yeah, I mean, I think that flat spot only goes on one way. I think that's the only way that you can put it on. So that's how I'll fall. My steering wasn't quite that far off, but I don't think I can put it in this way. No. It's gotta go on like this. I have to fix the alignment. Yeah. Okay, let's put this back in. Again, it's not quite that far off, but it is pretty annoyingly off. It's amazing, you know, doing these things, like it would take me eight minutes to do this if I did it again. I wasn't too worried about the alignment being off. The alignment's on, it's just they didn't, when the alignment, the guys that did it didn't, uh, didn't properly address the steering wheel. This needs to be 45 foot pounds. <laughs> so maybe we'll get my old school torque wrench. It's frustrating because every time I have my thousand dollar, you know, my $550 snap on torque wrenches and uh, they're at the garage. Last time I needed them, they were here and I was at the garage. So now I'm using this goofy craftsman from way back when. This is too long. <laughs> I think it's 45, let's try it again. Yep, okay. So we're in. Let's 
put our airbag back in place and we're done. It's actually really simple. Here are the two that connect to the car and you can't see it, but there's a, because I just put the bolt in, I should have showed it to you before, but there is a little demarcation line that centers the steering wheel. And then of course, these two will plug into our airbag. As you can see on top of the airbag there, right here. And that's pretty much the extent. And that was the, the bolt that I was adjusting. And we're in. Now I gotta get my alignment fixed. It's okay, I'm doing the suspension here shortly anyway. Reconnect the battery. Am I the only goofball that gets a little freaked out when I reconnect the battery, like it's gonna kill me or something? I like never wanna touch it until it touches. Let's hope we don't get a darn airbag light. I don't have two cars with airbag lights. Check it out, I think it looks pretty sweet. I think I'm gonna dig this. Just everything looks clean. Let me get some new pedals eventually. There's the steering wheel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the shift now for a little while and see. I like the height better. And the little stubby knob looks more OE. And then the shift boot. And of course that all matches the stitching on the steering wheel. I like it. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, now comes the sucky part. You get up under here. This plate needs to come out, a T25. I guess it's not a plate, it's a uh, little plastic cover. It'll be interesting to see, since he messed with the shift knob and stuff, I wanna see if this is, uh, the clutch spring is still on here. It feels like it still is. And then I'll probably get an alternate clutch pedal, which is a metal clutch pedal. Let's just do that, set it aside rather than breaking it. This is kind of a pointless video you guys can't see anything. There's a bunch of DIYs online, so you don't really need me for this one. The basic premise of doing this, you know, the spring aids relief, right? So it's a little bit easier to push in, comes back a little bit easier, but takes away that a linear feel to the clutch pedal. So what this does, by removing it, you just get an even, you get even feel all the way through. All right, so here's how this works. On your clutch pedal, there's a connection point, and up, you know, there's like a, a two-prong thing, so that, you know, the pedal, the clutch spring sits like this, right? And so there's a pin that goes through that top mount piece, and there's another pin that goes through the bottom piece, and so these little clips are stuck on here, like so. And so what I did is I took a right angle pick. I stuck this in here and pulled that off. So I pulled it off of both the top and bottom. Then you push the clutch pedal all the way in and that's what loosens this up. And then you take the pick, oops. You take the pick and you just push this way and then these pins pop out like so and that's it. And yeah, this isn't necessary. This, there's a, uh, there's a piston in there. I think it's a you know, hydraulic system that engages the clutch, that this is just a helper, but it's not necessary. And I've taken out of this, taken this out of a bunch of cars and uh, makes a makes a big difference, makes it much more linear. You know, I'm not looking for a super light clutch pedal feel. Yeah, subtle difference, but better. Make sure I can still change gears, good to go. Cool, getting this car set up one step at a time. The last project was to take this pro clip thinger, this mount, so this mount, this little clip goes on the dash and then we put the mount to this so it connects like that and that way it would hold my cell phone like so. I guess you clip this thing in here, but appears I'm missing a part. Uh, I guess I must have ordered the one without the, connection. The whole point would be to connect it so that it connects through lightning and then I would run some sort of USB connection down into the car 
and uh, that way I could you know connect without having to go through Bluetooth. The Bluetooth, the tune to air thing I bought for this thing is kind of clunky. Uh, so I guess this will be a project for next week. I'll have to order more parts again. I had the right stuff and then I uh, got a new cell phone. And so now I've got I've to gotta get the, the parts for that. So anyway, uh, Alcantara looks awesome. The uh, steering wheel, shift boot, uh, clutch pedals uh, now feeling a little bit better. I'll probably get the ultimate clutch pedal and some dining pedals, but a uh, nice little project just working on the little subtle details of the M3. Uh, the bigger stuff is coming here. Brembo's just showed up uh, this week. So I got the Brembo brakes. I've got the uh, Dynan suspension, Dynan sway bar, Dynan rear toe lengths, lengths. Uh, and uh, what else do I got coming to the Dynan intakes coming. Uh, but yeah, cars coming together. I just put new grills on the gloss black grills instead of the BMW Performance, the shadow black or shadow line black. I think the painted version is a little better, a little less scratch prone. Uh, but man, the car's looking good. Uh, I get the front lip, Mo Carbon front lip should have shipped a couple of weeks ago. I don't know where the heck that is. Uh, so I need that. And I'll probably take out the headlights and send them somewhere and have the, you know, the custom angel eyes and blackouts done. So we'll probably do that at some point here soon. Anyway, thanks for watching this uh, rather boring little, little subtle update project. Uh, M3's coming together. See you soon. Stay tuned for more crazy. So what happens when the, when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor.